Over the weekend, I got to play an early preview build of Ion Maiden, the latest retro-inspired first-person shooter from 3D Realms and Void Point Games. That's right, the same folks behind Doot Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior, and who helped birth the first-person shooter genre by publishing Wolfenstein 3D. Although it almost feels wrong saying retro-inspired when it comes to Ion Maiden. Because I'd argue it isn't just inspired, it's retro to its very core. It's running on the Build Engine, the same engine that powered those original 3D Realms classics, and also my personal favorite from Monolith Productions, Blood. Ion Maiden aims to capture the brilliant and bloody run-and-gun action of 90s FPS teams that made politicians fear for the sanity of children everywhere. And it does so with gusto. In Ion Maiden, you play as Shelly Bombshell Harrison, who you may remember, or want to forget depending on who you asked, from the 2016 top-down shooter Bombshell. But fear not, if you haven't played Bombshell, Ion Maiden acts as a prequel and tells the simple story, set in the year 2097, of Shelly mowing down cyborgs in a bloody, glorious, and pixelated fashion in Neo DC. Despite running on the classic build engine, Ion Maiden is not without a few modern conventions. The developers have updated the engine with new features, such as a crosshair, which in turn allows for headshots. The updated engine also allows for larger stages with more colors and this crazy thing known as gravity that makes a well-thrown bowling grenade all the more satisfying. And in many ways, Ion Maiden reminds me much more of Blood in the popular Brutal Doom mod than 3D Realm's previous work with Duke Nukem 3D. Details such as the over-the-top door to the design and appearance of the hooded cyborgs and creepy cyborg skull spiders instantly send me back to my youth throwing sticks of dynamite at hooded cultists with Caleb. From the moment I started the preview build of Ion Maiden, I was greeted with a semi-truck crashing into some closed garage doors, followed up by a gorgeous pixel explosion. Soon after, I was whipping out my first weapon, known as Loverboy, an odd-looking revolver with some pretty damn good accuracy and range. Loverboy is perfect for dispatching cyborg dunes from a distance, but it can also fire faster by simply tapping left-click instead of holding it down. Shelly is also not without a defining melee weapon for up-close and personal encounters. In this case, an electrifying night stit that zapped cyborgs dead in a gruesome fashion. During my time at the preview build, I also had a chance to play around with both the SMG 9000, a fairly self-explanatory submachine gun, and the Disperser shotgun. Both of these weapons certainly have their uses. The SMG 9000 is great for clearing a room, while the Disperser has a surprisingly good range with a narrow spread, and is ideal for hallways. But easily my favorite tool for dispatching cyborgs in a bloody gib-filled mess is the previously mentioned bowling bombs. These handy little balls of joy, when thrown, will immediately auto-lock onto targets and roll straight into them. Given Shelly's nickname Bombshell and her knack for explosives, these are fitting. The bowling bombs are also the perfect tool for dispatching numerous enemies at once, or for surprising that one poor cyborg in the bathroom stall. The end results from these never get old and are usually followed up by a one-liner from Shelly. The preview build even has a mode dedicated to these joyful balls of destruction known as Bombardier. In this mode, Shelly's health now has a mass capacity of 25, and the only weapons you can use are an unlimited supply of bowling bombs. Admittedly, I spent a hell of a lot more time playing this mode once I discovered it. However, this wouldn't be a build engine game without massive levels filled to the brim with secrets and references, and Ion Maiden certainly delivers here as well. From hidden doors and interactive objects in the environment, to crawling through vents and grabbing various key cards. Out of the roughly 6 or 7 times I went through the preview build, each time I discovered something new and I completely missed in my previous run. Hell, I spent at least half an hour in my first playthrough simply looking at all the various posters and hilarious in-game advertisements, all while attempting to key in various cheat codes from random tests in the environment to no avail. If anything, these little interactive details and the gorgeous handcrafted pixel art are a fine example of how the build engine can still look so distinct and beautiful in its own right, especially in an industry filled with games striving for photorealism. Throw all this in with an ass-kicking MIDI soundtrack, and Ion Maiden has the potential to be another instant classic and fine addition to the Build Engine library of games. For those of you also interested, we have an interview up on the site now with 3D Realms Vice President Friedrich Schreiber from Destructoid's own CJ Andreessen. I'll put a link down below in the description. But for more written previews and reviews, be sure to head on over to Destructoid.com.